My father started the real estate business here at Two Trees back in 1968. And it was really growing up very much a family business. He really brought his work home. My mom was very involved in the business. I don't feel like I was totally raised to do this. I don't think it was ever expected that I would come and work here necessarily. I was a journalist in college. And through a friend, I actually went to work for Donald Trump right out of school. And then after I was at Donald's for a year, David called me and said, the city's finally interested in rezoning Dumbo, and do you want to come and do it? And what happened simultaneously is you had the first tech boom kind of in New York. And at the same time, there was the resurgence in all of these Brooklyn neighborhoods, not just Dumbo, but all of them. And that moment gave us the confidence to make a massive investment in this building. But at the beginning, it was never ever part of the plan. And it wasn't some like genius notion that, oh, we're gonna create a tech incubator in Dumbo and that's how it's gonna go. Like it kind of happened to us and then we were smart enough and flexible enough to realize what we had and, and then to nourish it and to cultivate it a little bit. In terms of Domino, I think very similar to Dumbo, you have an opportunity to take a big picture long-term view. And it helps with all your thinking. I mean, when you can take a big picture long-term view, it's much more likely that your interests and from a policy perspective and even your, your minute decisions are, are more likely to align with the neighborhood's interests and the city at large interests. To me, what's interesting about Domino is if you look at like the Jane Jacobs four big characteristics, mix of new buildings, an old building, small blocks, a lot of density and a density of users and mix of uses, right? Those are kind of these cast in stone urbanist principles that people associate with like the West Village or brownstones in Toronto. I would argue that's exactly what we've been able to achieve together in Domino. I think Two Trees is different because primarily they're not afraid to take risks. They challenge when somebody says you can't do that. Um, we hear that a lot in our discipline where people will say, nope, can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. And Jed's someone who just asks, why not? Let's try. They really treat every site as unique and try to leverage the site. And that's, that's a really different experience for us. With all of our projects, we really hope that we create a very, very positive set of momentum and energy that spills over into all the stuff that have nothing to do with us but our, you know, our neighbors or what happens down the street or up the block. We hope we set a tone uh, that other people can build on and where communities say, you know what, this was really positive development in our lives or are better off having had this project.